everybody hear me okay in the back? Can you hear me good? Okay, excellent. Uh, first thing I'd like to ask you to do is if you can put your phones on vibrate. Vibrate. V I B. R A T E. R A T E. Can I have it in a sentence? Put your phones Please on put vibrate. your phones on vibrate. Thank you. My name is Ed Tobias Cowens. I work for the city of Brockton. And uh, I was telling the students in the back that the pressure's on me. My boss is sitting here, and my boss's bosses are sitting here, so I have a lot of people to uh, report to. So what we're going to do today is we're going to have the students come out. Um, they've already been briefed on the rules. A lot of them are very nervous. Um, they're sitting there like this, and I tried my best to get them a little bit relaxed so we can get started. But today's a very special day here. Um, and what makes it special is because all of you are here. And we're happy to have you. This is not the usual venue that we use. In the past, we've done it at the Little Red Schoolhouse. And we actually use it roughly once a year. Uh, we thought this would be more comfortable, more space, more parking. But unfortunately, it's a field trip, football game going on. So it makes the parking a little tight. But it's still a more conducive venue than the uh, schoolhouse, which had everyone kind of tight. So I welcome you here to the Dr. William Arnone School. And hope you enjoy yourselves. And even though I'm welcoming you and I'm saying thank you, it's great for you guys to be here, the judges, the teachers, the principals, family members, the mayor, school committee members, city councilor, and others. The most important one here today are, are the students. So we want them to enjoy themselves and want them to have fun. And we don't want them to feel that anyone is a failure here today. This is a friendly competition. Being a leader isn't an easy thing, and I know the mayor can attest to that. And I applaud each of them for stepping up to be here today and representing their schools. I mean, it's a, this is one of our biggest and best events that we have in the Brockton Public Schools. This is about my third year here, and I look forward to this every year. They don't even have to ask me to participate. I contact them usually around September. When are we going to have the spelling bee? When is it going to be? I want to make sure I'm part of this. This is a great event. So without any further ado, I'm going to uh, call out our uh, students. And this will be starting with uh, Ethan Kang. Ethan, look happy to be here. Okay. Please applaud now as they come out. What we're going to ask though is when we start the competition, uh, please do not applaud while we are um, the students are spelling or even after they complete the word. We want to hold the applause to the end of the event. Okay? Great. Thank you. <clears throat> Next, Tamia Marshall. <laughs> Ava R. Hamilton. No, nope. nope. Ava? She still may show up. She has minutes. What about Destiny? Not Next one's Isaiah Gregory, the one's next. All right. Mr. Isaiah Gregory Jackson. <laughs> Juliana Rosat Maurice Rosado. <laughs> Tim Scolaro. <laughs> nice big grin, Tim. Thank you. <laughs> Julian John Champagne. Daniel Hill. <laughs> Gabriella Marotti. <laughs> Darnell Jung. The Darnell, how do you pronounce it? Junga. Junga. Welcome, Darnell. <laughs> Jacob Florian Lee. So those are our contestants, and I'd like to ask our students to stand. Please stand and repeat after me. I am braver than I believe. I am braver than I believe. I am stronger than I seem. I am smarter than I think. Now I want you to turn to your family members and parents and tell them that you're going to win this thing. Point at them. <laughs> Point at them. Tell them. <laughs> Say it and mean it. Thank you. 
And even if you don't, you're still stronger and smarter than you think. Thank you. Please have a seat. Are you ready? Yes. <laughs> I hear at least one enthusiastic voice. Uh, judges, do I need to give the judges the, the rules? No, the judges have the rules. Okay. Parents. parents, okay. Parents, let me tell you what the rules are. The contestants will say the word, spell the word, and say the word a second time. The example I use is apple. A-P-P-L-E, apple. So once they say it, spell it, it's then locked in. However, <clears throat> they have the right before they begin, when they hear the word apple, to point to the judges and say, may I have that word in a sentence or may I have the definition? And the judges will uh, re read the definition or put it in a sentence for them. If there is a discrepancy on the spelling of the word, the judges have the first, last, and final decision as to whether that word is acceptable. They rule, okay? Only after he or she begins spelling may the contestant ask the moderator to pronounce the word again or define it or use it in a sentence. Upon missing the spelling of a word, the contestant immediately drops out of the contest. The moderator then pronounces the same word for the next contestant. If all remaining contestants are eliminated by a specific word, then all who were eliminated by that word are called back and once the competition resumes, as above, with the moderator pronouncing the, word, the next word on the list to the first contestant to have missed the previous word. So let's say we're down to the last two people, and the contestant misspells the word apple. The word apple then go to the next contestant. They will spell apple. If they spell it correctly, they're going to be given one more additional word. They get that correct, they won. Okay? If the last remaining contestant misses his or her additional word, the next so the last contestant is called back and competition continues as above until the winner can be declared as specified in rule A6. Is that good? All right, so let's get this show on the road. Okay, we're going to start with Mark. Mark, if you can come up to the podium. No, Mark. Oh. No, you're going to start with Ethan K. K. from the Asheville. Oh. So you've got to look at grade seven. Okay. Well, I, I have two lists here. Yeah. All right, here we go. Ethan, your word is gradual. Gradual. G R A D U A L. Gradual. That is correct. Yes, hold your point, please. Next, I have Tamia, correct? Tamia. Tamia. Tamia, you can come up. Your word will be candidate. Candidate. Can I use that in sentence? She asked for the word candidate in a sentence. Test? Oh, there we go. Okay, <clears throat> the word is candidate. In a sentence, Hillary Clinton was defeated as the Democratic candidate for presidency in 2016 by Donald Trump. Candidate C A N D A T E candidate. That is not correct. Isaiah. Isaiah. Your word is candidate. Candidate, C-A-N-I-D-A-T-E, candidate? That is correct. No, that's not no. I'm sorry. No. Can I, can I? Not correct. That's not correct? No. Okay. It's C-A-N-I. I apologize. So next I move to... Juliana. Juliana, your word is candidate. Definition, please. Definition, a person who applies for a job or is nominated for election. Candidate, C-A-N-I-D-A-T-E, candidate. 
That is not correct. Am I right? Incorrect. Timothy, your word is candidate. Candidate. C-A-N. D-I-D-A-T-E, candidate? Correct. That is correct. Julian, your word is ancestry. Ancestry, A-N-C-E-S-T-R-Y, ancestry. That is correct. Daniel, your word is anywhere. Anywhere, A-N-Y-W-H-E-R-E, -E, anywhere. That is correct. Gabriella, your word is aspect. Aspect, A-S-P-E-C-T, aspect. That is correct. Darnell, your word is ballot. Um... Ballot, B A L L E G, ballot. That is incorrect. Do Jacob, your word is ballot. Ballot, B A L L O T, ballot. That is correct. Ethan, your word is tyrant. Tyrant. May you use it in a sentence? Tyrant in a sentence, please. Hello. Hello. Oh. All right, tyrant in a sentence. An angry tyrant, Adolf Hitler, ordered that all Jewish people leave their homes. Tyrant. T Y R A N T. Tyrant. That is correct. Okay, just Timothy. Timothy, your word is irritation. Irritation. I R R I T A T I O N irritation. That is correct. Julian, your word is neighborly. Neighborly. N E I G H B O R L Y neighborly. That is correct. <coughs> Daniel. Your word is preliminary. Can you say that again? Preliminary. Preliminary, P-R-E-L-I-M-I-N-A-R-Y. -E that, preliminary. That is, that is correct. Gabriella, <coughs> your word is budgeting. May I please have that in a sentence? <laughs> Unfortunately, budgeting for the car repairs was not done, so we anxiously awaited our next paycheck. Budgeting. B-U-D-G-E-T-I-N-G. -E budgeting. That is correct. Jacob, the word is dehydration. May I please have a sentence? To avoid suffering from dehydration, it is important to drink water. Dehydration. D E H Y. D R A T I O N dehydration. That is correct. 
Ethan, your word is diagnosis. Diagnosis, D-I-A-G-N-O, Di diagnosis, D-I-A-G-N-O-S-I-S, diagnosis. That is correct. Ava, oh, sorry, Timothy, let me cross out this. Timothy, all righty. Timothy, your word is disposal. Can you please use it in a sentence? I dumped the rest of the sauce in the garbage disposal because it started to grow mold. Disposal. D-I. Disposal. D-I-S. P O S A L disposal. That is correct. Julian, your word is discoloration. Discoloration. D I S C O L O R A T I O N. Discoloration. That is correct. Daniel. Your word is anxiety. Can you repeat that? Anxiety. Anxiety, A-N-X-I-E-T-Y, anxiety. That is correct. Gabriella, your word is exercise. Exercise, E-X-C-E-R-I-S-E, -E -E, exercise. That is not correct. Dora, I'm sorry, Jacob, your word is exercise. Exercise, E-X-C-E-R-C-I-S-E, -E -E, exercise. That is not correct. Ethan, your word is exercise. Exercise, E-X-C-E-R-S-I-S-E, -E, exercise. That is correct. Timothy? Yes. Okay, good. Your word is employee. Employee. E M P L O Y E E. Employee. That is correct. Julian. Your word is illiterate. Illiterate. Can you use that sentence? Sentence? Her father was illiterate and could not read the notes her teacher sent home. Illiterate. A L I T E R A T E. Illiterate. That is not correct. Daniel, your word is illiterate. Illiterate. I L L E. Wait, can I understand? Illiterate. I L L I T E R A T E. Illiterate. That, that is correct. Okay, I think I'm back to Ethan. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, Ethan, your word is knitted. Uh, may I have a definition? To draw or grow together. Let me use in a sentence. As he carefully thought of a plan, he knitted his brows in concentration. Knitted. K N I T T E D knitted. That is correct. Timothy. The word is famine. Can you please repeat the word? Famine. 
Okay, please use it in a sentence. Anytime a vegetable plant would sprout after a famine, the farmers felt hope. Famine. F A M I N E. Famine. That is correct. Okay, back to Ethan. Where are you at? Am I? Daniel. Daniel. I apologize, Daniel. You were getting up too. You knew it, right? Your word is justice. Justice. J U S T I C E. Justice. That is correct. Ethan. The word is inscription. Me using the sentence. <clears throat> the inscription on the bracelet read, I love you always. Inscription, I N S C R I. No, inscription, I N S C R I P T I O N. Inscription. That is correct. Daniel? No. Tim? I'm going to get this right yet. <laughs> Timothy, your word is instrument. Can you please use it in a sentence? The dentist lined up the instruments that he would use to clean his patient's teeth. Instrument. I and S T R U M E N T instrument. That is correct. Daniel. The word is jeopardize. Jeopardize. J E O P A. Wait, okay. Jeopardize. G. Wait, no. J E O P. E R D I S E. Jeopardize. That is not correct. We're now down to our final two contestants. Ethan, the word is jeopardize. Jeopardize. J E O P A R D I Z E D. Jeopardize. Can I repeat the can I repeat the word? Yes. The word is jeopardize. No, can you what spelling do you have? I just don't know if I heard the last letter. Uh -oh. I have I have Z E. Z E. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So a little back sound. Judges, what do you think? Is it correct? I thought it was good. It's correct. We agree. Thank you so much. Thank you. Timothy. The word is misunderstood. Misunderstood. M I S S Misunderstood. M I S U <coughs> misunderstood. M I S U N D E R S T O O D misunderstood. That is correct. You had me sweating up here for a minute. Okay, Ethan. The word is receiver. Receiver. R E C E I. Receiver. R E C E I V E R. Receiver. That is correct. 
Timothy, the word is secretary. Secretary. S E. C R E. T A R Y, secretary. That is correct. Ethan, the word is yogurt. Repeat the word. Yogurt. Yogurt. Y O G U R T, yogurt. That is correct. Tim, your word is badger. Can you please use it in a sentence? My daughter would always badger me in stores until I bought her something. Badger. B A D G E R Badger. That is correct. Ethan, your word is humiliation. Humiliation. H U M I L Humiliation. H U M I L I A T I O N humiliation. That is correct. Tim, your word is zodiac. Zodiac. Z O D I A C zodiac. That is correct. Should have you guys sit down. We just had, should have you guys just stand there and just go back and forth, back and forth. <coughs> Ethan, your word is aquatic. Let me use it in a sentence. All aquatic activities will take place in the indoor pool. Let me say it again because I got some feedback there. All aquatic activities will take place in the indoor pool. Aquatic, aquatic, A Q U A T I C, aquatic. That is correct. Tim, your word is handicap. Handicap. H A Handicap. H A N D I C A P handicap. That is correct. Ethan, your word is objective. Objective. O B J E C T I V E objective. That is correct. Tim. Your word is abrasion. Can you please repeat the word? Abrasion. Can you please use it in a sentence? <clears throat> the abrasion the abrasion was clean but looked sore and needed a bandage. Abrasion. A B R A S I A N abrasion. That is not correct. <laughs> Ethan, the word is abrasion. Abrasion. A B R A S I O N abrasion. That is correct. Your next word is genuine. Genuine. G E N. Genuine. G E N U I N E. Genuine. Congratulations. Yay. Ethan, take a bow. Let me say, you guys did great use of the judges. This was excellent, how you guys proceeded. So there are no losers here.
No losers. Okay, Mr. Daniel Hill, please come up for your third place prize. Job well done. And he's from South Middle School. Who's your, who's your principal? Mrs. Lynch, she'd be very proud of you. Good job. Don't leave, don't leave, stay right here. Okay, our second place winner. Tim Scolaro from the Plough. Nice job. You made those judges work, you know. There you go. Yeah, me sweat. And our first place winner, Ethan K. Kang from the Asheville School. We give you this and this and a parking space. <laughs> so if you three guys could turn around and, and pose for us and show your ribbons, that would be terrific. We could get some nice pictures of you, get some good smiles, you guys. Smile. Nice job, nice job. Excellent. And now, all the contestants get a gift certificate to Dairy Queen on a great day to go to Dairy Queen. Oh. Excellent. So right. go up to them. Parents, thank you so much for your participation and compliance. This was great. We hope to see you guys again next year.